My opinion, cheap smartphone is a phone with a price under $150, and the Cubant X18 is around $120. So the main question here is, should you consider buying this phone? First of all, Cubant is not a new manufacturer. So this brand with several years in producing budget devices knows what it's doing. The specs are very appealing, Android 7 out of box, 3 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of internal memory, which is enough for daily tests at a normal usage, 16 megapixel rear camera and 13 megapixel front facing camera, both offering a very good shooting. 5.7 inch display, 720p resolution, fingerprint scanner, 3200 mAh battery, enough to not make the phone feeling like a brick in your hand, and with a low resolution screen, can hold the whole day at a normal usage. But there are downsides about this phone, because this giant 5.7 inch display with only HD resolution, it is outdated even for a $120 Chinese phone. However, the rear cam has a Sony sensor and the front cam a Samsung one, but still a 1.5 GHz quad-core processor, even Vernis or a $80 phone has a better processor, an octa-core one. Though, if you have watched other hands-on review video, you can clearly see a lag in touch responsiveness. And not to mention, no USB-C is available, which is another factor that displays this phone as an outdated one. So the Cubot X18 has a balance of pros and cons, but in my opinion, if you can spend $30 to $50 more, you can get better options like the Asus Zenfone Max Plus or the Xiaomi Redmi 5. If you disagree with me or the sound is crappy, please make sure to thumbs down this video and I will get your message. For more content from me, please subscribe to my channel because we review stuff.